Hello and welcome Cancer. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so Cancer, we're going to be looking into your next relationship. So keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not everything will resonate. <clears throat> That's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. Hold on, this one's kind of stuck here. <laughs> okay, it is really stuck here. Okay, jeez, please. All right, so Cancer, we have the Ten of <clears throat> Cups here. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. And then we have the Page of Wands here. Okay, bottom of the deck, we do have the Queen. All right, so the Queen of Wands. So a lot of fire energy going on here. Hmm. All right, so Cancer, I do feel like there's a part of you that wants happiness, wants love, wants abundance, but at the same time, there's also something that's kind of holding you back. Um, I keep getting there's a relationship that's kind of on the rocks. Um, possibly someone who's not being fully honest with their partner. Hmm. I feel like there's a really heavy weight here. Like somebody's carrying around a lot of heavy burdens. I keep getting somebody's hiding their feelings. Hmm. Yeah, I keep getting, yeah, somebody's like hiding their feelings here. With the page, <clears throat> I do get there's going to be some good news about this situation. Um, cancer, this could be meeting someone new. This could be, see, I, I still keep getting like somebody's hiding something. Let's clarify. Cause I feel like something works out here. All right. So clarifying that 10 of cups, we have the king of swords, queen of coins and seven of wands. So getting past some hurdles, um, I keep getting finding a way, finding solution. Yeah, Queen of Coins, wanting to grow something, wanting to nurture something, wanting to... I keep getting a lot of potential, a lot of growth. With the King of Swords, hmm. I keep getting somebody's being really logical trying to ignore their feelings and just think, you know, like, okay, maybe this isn't the right thing. Maybe, you know, this, maybe that, or what if, what if I'm wondering if someone's not already in a relationship and that's why someone's hiding their feelings because for some reason it just feels like somebody's holding back. Hmm. Because it feels like there's some fear. Maybe fear of worrying that, you know, there's um, feelings aren't going to be reciprocated. Clarifying that Nine of Wands with the Ace of Cups, Seven of Swords, and Six of Swords. Yeah. So I do feel like someone is kind of detaching from a situation, from an emotional situation. I, I keep being like, you know, again, somebody's very defensive or just has walls up. With Seven of Swords, could be a little bit sneaky here. Um, again, possibly hiding feelings from somebody. Somebody could be in a relationship that has feelings for someone else. With the Ace of Cups, you know, that's a new beginning. And I do feel like that's what you want to go towards here, Cancer, is a new beginning. You want a new opportunity. All 
All right, so clarifying that Ten of Wands, we have the Six of Cups, Three of Cups, and Five of Swords. Hmm. See, and I keep getting, um, with this Three of Cups, there could possibly be three parties involved. Um. Hmm. One, you have a very strong connection with the other one. I keep getting there's some kind of mental manipulation, uh, possibly feeling used. Um, I keep getting having to walk on eggshells with a particular connection here. But I do feel there is a soulmate connection here involved as well. Either they're coming in or both parties are kind of like, um, I don't want to say connected somehow, but it's like, you know, maybe you're already in a relationship, but things just, you know, again, aren't that great. You know, there's some manip mental manipulation, things like that kind of going on. Um, you know, lack of, um, uh, feeling somebody kind of pulling back, you know, being very almost withdrawn, you know, with walls up, like you can't get through to this person or, you know, maybe this person is seeing you that way. But I do feel there is an energy here that you do want to move forward with because there is a soul connection coming in. So for those of you who are currently in a relationship, I feel like you're moving past it. Clarifying that page of wands, we have the nine of wands again. We have the Justice card, and then we have the Hanged Man. Yeah, see, things are just two of wands on the bottom, you know, possibly needing to make a uh, decision. Hmm. I do get, you know, again, some good news is coming in, but it feels like there's a little bit of stagnancy. Um, again, possibly somebody needing to kind of take a step back, kind of reevaluate things. Um, you really kind of figure out, you know, what it is that they want. With Justice and the Nine of Wands, yeah, see, I feel like somebody, like I said, even though somebody here is very guarded, I do feel like they're kind of, in a sense, breaking free. Um, I keep getting, like, liberating. <laughs> um, that's why I said breaking free. But with the Justice, it, it does kind of feel like, you know, again, some, some kind of balance is being restored. For some of you, this is kind of getting out of a karmic connection or, you know, dealings with a karmic relationship and moving towards a soulmate connection. So, because there's definitely been some trials and tribulations with this uh, connection. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get some romance angels. Kind of see what is going on here. I feel like somebody's really working on their confidence as well. Okay, we have one so far. Let me get one more. Hmm. I keep getting like somebody is trying to get through to the other person. But for some reason, like I said, somebody is very guarded here. Okay, um, bottom of the deck is getting to know each other, so possibly needing to just kind of open up more. Like I said, somebody is coming across as being very guarded. Um, the two cards that did come out was give your, give your relationship a chance and release your ex. So there's definitely something that somebody is holding on to that is interfering with this connection. Um, something from the past, this could actually be a person. Or this could just be some, you know, some energy, like I said, from the past that needs to really be released in order for this connection to move forward. Because I feel like we've kind of hit like a snag, like a, we've hit a wall here. Because I do feel like, you know, this connection can move forward, but somebody is really holding back. Somebody is really guarded. And there could be because there could possibly be a third party. Um, third party does not necessarily mean cheating. It could just mean there's someone kind of yapping in somebody's ear that maybe this isn't the situation for you or, you know, some kind of outside interference. While others of you, I do feel like you are in kind of like a karmic relationship and I don't feel like that's going to be lasting. So I do feel like you're going to need to release your ex with give your relationship a chance. For some of you, you're going to choose to work on this partnership. Um, for others of you, I, you know, again, I just kind of feel like you are going to be kind of moving forward because I feel like for some of you, you're already kind of detaching from a certain situation ship here. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get some tiles. Okay. 
Okay. So we have L. We have W. We have A. We actually have two A's. Uh, D. Another W. M. And another L. Okay, so right away um, I'm being drawn to wall, you know, again, kind of hitting that brick wall within a connection, somebody kind of holding back. Um, again, there could possibly be some kind of anger, something that this person's holding on to from the past, or again, there's just something blocking this connection from moving forward. For some of you, like I said, you're going to choose to end this and, you know, move forward towards a different connection. For others of you, you may choose to work on this, but it's definitely going to take some work because like I said, you, you keep hitting this wall, Cancer, with you and your person. Um, definitely a need for open, honest communication here. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave those here and let you guys kind of play with those. Remember, they can be um, initials, they can be... Um, you know, months, possibly April, August, uh, May. So I'm going to leave those here and let's get some charms. Okay. So the first one we have the feather. So again, for me, this is kind of going back to release your ex, getting rid of that negative energy, of, you know, or of something that, you know, somebody's kind of hanging on to here. Um, live the life you love. So again, kind of doing away with people pleasing and really kind of focusing on what makes you happy. Um, you know, again, especially releasing any type of negativity or things that have been kind of holding you back. Um, with the little peace sign within the heart, there could be, again, some kind of, you know, hurt, um, you know, a heart that still needs to mend um, or focus on healing. With the little mouse here, I keep getting some kind of pest, um, but I also keep getting something kind of eating away at a person. Um, with the little mouse, so we could have like a cat and mouse game between two people, kind of like a runner chaser type of situation here. All right, with the little spider, you know, someone who I keep getting very um, calculating, uh, very patient. Hmm, okay. Um, with the little, and I also keep getting fear. Okay, with the horseshoe and the ladybug inside of it, I do get, you know, that luck is going to be changing. Um, we can turn things around. We can fix things if that's what you choose to do. And then let's see, what is this little guy? Oh, okay. It's like a little dog, like laying down there. Um, so that could mean, you know, like loyalty, um, best friend, possibly, you know, finding someone who's loyal, who you trust, who, you know, really listens to you. Um, you know, something like that. And then with the Hello Kitty charm here, I do feel like, you know, talking about like fun, kind of taking things back, um, Possibly just, you know, maybe somebody's a little too serious here. Somebody's a little too, like, in their head and not really finding that, you know, that balance of, you know, rest and relax, of work and play type, you know, type thing going on here. So, all right. Um, that is what I have for you, Cancer. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And as always, have a great rest of the week and take care.